Tom, I mean, the confidence of that staying in the pit lane and at, at the end of that session, but after what uh, Tim described as the pole lap of the season, I guess there was a reason for that confidence. Yeah, uh, honestly, Louise, I, 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 I've not got words for, for how good this car felt today. I haven't even got the nearest hints of a criticism to come up with. I, I came on the radio to Spencer once we'd done the lap and I said, mate, this is, a, this is obscene. Uh, just incredible really really pleased really good we knew that you know we've known all year that, that qualifying has been the the real critical part of it so getting a good qualifying has been so important uh, honestly I, I I'm uh, I'm so thrilled to get that done I really really am I mean you just didn't just nail it you blitzed the field and I think one of the laps one of the three I think it was laps that you did was good that was good enough for pole you're almost off into the grass but it was still faster than anyone else uh, as I say I, I I've it just felt fantastic. Honestly, I really, really can't thank, thank, uh, you know, thank, thank Bristol Street Motors and Accelerate Joe Price cars enough for the car that we've been able to come up with this week. And you, you and I spoke yesterday, uh, uh, quite a long interview for ITV, and I said I felt so relaxed coming into this weekend. I've just felt really chill, really, really excited. You know, felt more excited than anything else coming into this weekend. And we really put the work in. We put in so much work over these last two weeks. I've done nothing else but stare at a, stare at a computer screen with squiggly lines and videos around Brands Hatch GP. So I'm so thrilled to get it done, but testament to the work that's gone on behind the scenes to make sure that we can hit the ground running and, and be right where we need to be. Well, the perfect time to have the perfect car because this really has put you in great shape for one of the biggest days of your life tomorrow, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, absolutely. But, you know, I, I'm trying to take it, each, you know, each, each one in its stride. You know, we, we've... We've sort of seen that qualifying is going to be the important part this weekend. So we've kind of done everything we can with Nen, with the qualifying. So now, good night's sleep. I'm going to try and go for a swim and try and relax tonight at the hotel and, uh, and hopefully come out come the blocks fighting tomorrow. Well done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Let's go and grab a word with the man who's putting a, a bit of a buffer between uh, Tom and uh, his nearest championship rivals. And that's Rory Butcher, who after a fantastic weekend last time out, at, well, two weeks ago at Silverstone, you're back on it here. That's, that's right, Louise. Uh, and I have to say, Brands has been a bit of a weak circuit for us. So we came in here with our feet on the ground and we were, uh, you know, having an open mind in terms of car setup. Ricky went one direction, I went the other, and we, then we picked the best of the two and didn't really know what was going to happen there. But yeah, the car was, was really strong. And I think compared to a year ago, we're just in such a better place. It's great. I mean, obviously, as you'll understand, a lot of focus will be on the championship contenders tomorrow. But there's, you know, you guys still want stuff for your own reward, don't you? You want results for your own reward. Yeah, that's it, Louise. You know, it's uh, it's really important that we have a, a good race tomorrow. And of course, yeah, I'm going to be mindful of these guys. But at the same time, I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to lead into turn one. I want to be, yeah, I want to be beating these guys. So uh, all my team here who work so hard, they deserve a... A nice trophy, so yeah, we'll be going, we've gone in for it tomorrow, but being mindful of the, the championship uh, contenders. We will see you out there, and let's swing around and uh, grab a word with one of those championship contenders, Ash Sutton, starting from P3. Uh, I mean, that's, that's good. You'll take that, won't you? Yeah, considering where we were sat at the start of qualifying, didn't quite get the first set of tyres hooked up. Cho I was tucked up behind Dan, we didn't quite get it sort of synced properly, in my opinion, but um, yeah, the second set went out on my own. Yeah, I hung on for, for what the car could give me, if that makes sense. So it was um, good enough for P3. I think we just missed P2, which is a shame, but we get off the line clean and we can take it to Tom at the start, and, start of the race. And, and is your focus now fully on Tom? Because obviously Jake is, well, Jake's not that far behind you, is he? Well, he's directly behind me, if I'm honest, um, off the line. So he's got to have him in, in, our, in the back of our minds, but focus is on Tom, obviously. He's, he's looking really strong, so fair play to them guys, but um, we're not going to go down that easy. So what's your approach tomorrow? Four attack. We'll, uh, obviously, I want to finish second at least, but um, we'll just see what happens with Tom, get stuck in at the start, and if we can make progress, we'll make progress. We'll see you out there too. Um, and time for a final word with uh, the man who may have finished P4 in this session, um, but actually is our Goodwood Wingfoot Award winner for, for qualifying across the year. Yeah, at least I won one championship this weekend. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, nice thing to have, definitely. I mean... You know, we worked our little socks off in qualifying this year. I think the only time we qualified outside the top 10 was at Alton Park when I uh, had a little mishap with, with Tom Chilton. But nevertheless, it's been a fantastic year of, of qualifying and nice to win it with, uh, yeah, winning, winning this lovely trophy. 
So eyes forward now to the uh, to the main event to tomorrow. Um, how happy are you with uh, with starting P4? That face says Orda oh, like to be a bit further up. I just wanted to out qualify the other two, you know, because obviously that maximises our chances, you know. But I don't know what Tom's got under the bonnet. That thing it is too fast, you know. We couldn't catch him all, all of today. No one could really. So he is going to be extremely hard to beat tomorrow. Um, and yeah, we just got to. You know, we just got to uh, pull, pull our socks up and just go for it and whatever happens, happens. And, and you're going to have to really keep across what, you know, what, not just Tom, but you've got Ash up ahead of you as well, Colin a little bit further back. But you've got to keep an eye across them all, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. You know, I, all I can hope for is that, um, you know, Ash and Tom sort of get into each other a little bit, fighting for this championship and I come on through and take it all. But uh, yeah, who knows? Any, you know, anything can happen, but it's not the way I wanted to start the race, the race day on Sunday. Well, you talked about winning one award already, so uh, let's bring that in the award in it and make a presentation. Our uh, a good foot, a good foot, good year wing foot award winner for, for 2022. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? No, thank you very much to uh, Goodyear and obviously the BTCC. Yeah, lovely thing.